Hello, it's me, R.R. Lee, and this is the Cognac Tofu Survivor. Now, unlike the Uramochi Tofu that had a bunch of grenades and that we could just use to throw at anything in our way and get by pretty easily, this one does not have that. He has a grenade launcher that takes forever and a day to fire and reload, and a flamethrower. So this one actually requires strategy to get through without taking damage. Disgusting, I know, right? We actually have to play the game for this one. I am as disappointed as you are. Now the grenade launcher is going to be used to clear out most singular enemies that we come across like this one here and the ones that we just got rid of earlier. The flamethrower has limited use uh, mainly to take out large groups of zombies from far away and some dogs. We may use it on some dogs. But the grenade launcher, for whatever reason, unlike a normal gun, you have to spam the reload button in order to put a single round in. I understand that it only takes one round to use, but again, it doesn't seem to reload very easily. Now those flames that you saw in our character, they are merely cosmetic, that is not damage. It is just for, what is the word I'm looking for, fashion purposes only. Uh, it does not deal any damage. If we stay in it for long enough though, we will die. Now all of those zombies that we flamethrowered, we did that because we are going to take out all of the dogs from this room. And we're not going to use the flamethrower, actually, I lied. We're going to use the grenade launcher for this, because the door will continue to close, and just having it a little bit open, for whatever reason, gives the dogs the opportunity to attack us. Even if it's just slightly open, we could just open it a little bit, a literal inch, and the dog can still attack us from it. We'll take damage and have to restart. But by using the grenade launcher, we can continually fire, and as they walk through that fire, they will take damage steadily and slowly die off. After the three dogs that are here, because I do believe that there are three here, after they die, we're going to go up to the bridge, take out the zombie at the end of it, and aggro the other dogs to us to take them all out over here as well. They're all dead, two over there, one in front, so we're going to take out this zombie, and by walking on the bridge and then going away, it'll aggro the dogs to us. They are pretty fast if the camera is not on them. They actually can catch up to us, even though you did not see them on the screen, at least I didn't. Sometimes they can still attack us in this small run that it takes to get back to this room. So again, just a couple steps on the bridge, and then back over here to light them up. After they're all down, we're free to pass, and we can move on to the G's. We just have to keep looking through this window to make sure that they're not alive. If they don't run by this door, then that means that they are dead. I believe I said that correctly. I'm a little focused on the dogs. But they're all dead now. We can move on. Now the zombies in the next area, we are just going to run by them. We do not have to use flame rounds on them. While it does seem like we have a lot of them, they will not last us if we take out every zombie on our path. So we're just going to run through these guys in between these two and over, and we have to use a grenade. Yeah, we actually do have some grenades, but we need those as self-defense items for the end. I am very upset that we had to use one right there. I really thought that he'd be body blocked by that zombie that was getting up. Again, sometimes those zombies can pass through other ones, and sometimes they will be body blocked. But I guess he did a second lunge, and that's why. But because he took that grenade, it's even more important for us to take out these two G's over here with flame grenades instead. I was thinking about using a self-defense item to get through these just to be safe because we can't exactly stun the second one with this very easily. But that one's dead, now we're gonna take out this one. And with just one we could get by, but I'm gonna kill it anyway. 
I'm gonna go with anyway just because we have enough ammo for it. Again, I said for the zombies earlier that we didn't have enough, but I'm gonna take out this one just because. Just because I hate their placement here. You know, I really gotta show the video game that I do not like their enemies. We're gonna climb up here and we're going to take out the zombie that is up ahead up these stairs. Sometimes he will be on this staircase for some reason. It is very rare for him to be here. But if he would be there, uh, we would have to kind of double back and probably take out that other zombie that was standing up along the stairs. And that one, for whatever reason, has a large health pool, I believe. Because we have to wear him down with the flamethrower as well to take him out. Now for this room up here... We're gonna run through and it's kind of hard to tell where to go with the tofu character model but we're gonna try and run almost into the zombie that is getting up because the alternative is to walk directly into that pillar and that will bring us to a dead stop so we kind of have to brush up against the zombie and just hope that we get through because this character model is just so large and we're gonna burn this liquor if it's still moving, we're going to flame it again. It is still moving somehow. We're going to flame it again. I guess it wasn't a direct hit. And that should kill it. Usually one will kill that. I, it just wasn't a direct hit. Again, this character model is so large. Like, look at it go through this door. It is almost the same size as a door if it wouldn't be missing it. It is very hard to tell if we're going to run into something. But whenever you do get grabbed, it seems like the zombie kind of moves into the tofu, like how our weapon is inside of the tofu. It's just this large to make it hard to tell where we need to go and what we can and can't run past. Well, yeah, we're going to flame you. We are definitely going to flame you. You are not getting to us. Every time the flame dies down, we're going to shoot another grenade because there is a second dog in there. There are two dogs. And we are not going to get bit by either one of them. Even though those zombies fell down, I think we're going to shoot another one. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Is it dead? Yeah, I think that's its dead body next to that zombie that was laying on the ground. I hate the zombie dogs in this game. Now we're going to clear out everyone here. We're going to stun this guy. Since we shoot him as he's getting up, he's going to go back down into the ground. Gonna shoot that one, and we're gonna flame everybody else. We're gonna use the flamethrower to clear everybody out. Uh, this is pretty time consuming doing this, but the alternative is to shoot a flame grenade into the zombie that is directly in front of us to the right of the ladder, and then to hope that it reloads in time so that we can shoot another zombie uh, before going through the door at the end, the safety. And that sometimes works and it sometimes doesn't so this is the sure way of going through without getting bit by anything so that's what I'm going with all of these guys over here for whatever reason since they're in a different part of the garage the parking lot I guess they didn't aggro to us just gonna take them all out Take them all out, just backpedal, take a few steps back as we're using this, and they will not catch up with us. They will die before they are able to grab us. Anybody else? Anybody else? His flashlight placement is horrendous uh, in this mode. For Hunk and the Tofus, they just don't know when to use the flashlight. They're in pitch black darkness, and they'll won't, they won't pull the flashlight up. But in a well-lit area, they'll have it up. I'm not saying that this is well-lit. I'm just complaining about other areas of this. Like in the sewer, sometimes he won't have it up, even though it is just as dark as this. Can't tell where anything's at. Gonna take our thumb off. Walk. I do not hear any dogs, so we do not need to run. Sometimes that zombie on the floor will already be moving, and that's a sign that the dogs will also be on their way. But once we get even with the door, we're going to run through it so that they don't catch up to us. And we're going to flame Mr. X over here. 
We're gonna shoot a flame round at him, and we're gonna try and take him out with just the flamethrower after that, because we wanna stun him, and then light him up. We're gonna light him up over here down these stairs, actually, because he will not come all the way down. He will go back up, and he shouldn't body block us. He is past the rule Once he goes down, we just have to get him to go down. And he lost his hat. He lost his hat. He's going down for the count. Let's see. Let's see. We got 12 left. That should be more than enough. We're going to flame this guy. And we're going to flamethrower these guys, I think. Yeah, they're close enough together and we're far enough away. We don't have to stun them. They should go down. Although I think I saw a zombie in front run to the... Yep, he's going to the right. We're going to stun him. And we're going to run through the fire. Again, it's cosmetic. We're not taking damage. That is cosmetic only. If we stay in it long enough, we will die though. We're going to stun this zombie by the door. And spam to reload. Spam reload. Again, it takes forever to reload. We're going to shoot this guy. Going to run over and we're going to take our thumb off the joystick. And walk. Going to walk through the hallway. Mr. X was downed. So he should be in the room ahead of us. He shouldn't be behind us. He shouldn't be in this room. Yeah, not this room. This hallway either. Going to flamethrower everybody. They got to go. They got to go. We need to save our self-defense item for the end. I thought I heard steps, but he is not down there. He should be up here. And we're just going to constantly flamethrower because there's a zombie hiding in this corner. And after a little bit, Mr. X should come through this door. And we're going to fire a flame round in his face. Well, his face is pretty small and hard to hit, so his legs are good enough as well. We're going to flame him down, and he will continually turn back around. Just like at the stairs, he will go back to where he spawned. He will go back to where he came from. We just have to be careful that he doesn't run and punch us. We want him to go down because we need to take out the two ivies that are in front. And using a grenade for that, well, a flame grenade for that would take too long and would only stun one. So we need to take them both out with a flamethrower. And you can see how long this is. It gives Mr. X a free back shot, essentially. So we have to down him. And we had a lot of ammo at the beginning of this. We had 40. Uh, we had 40 flame grenades and how much? Like 2,000 flamethrower fuel and all. And now we're down to like a third. A third of flamethrower fuel and about 20%. Yeah, eight, eight, because one in the round and seven on the side. 20% of our original ammo. We are going to shoot. Oh, nope. We are going to throw a grenade, actually. I don't know why I said shoot. We're going to throw a grenade to clear out everybody there. We have four grenades left. We're not going to be using those willy-nilly. We saved all of those for the end because of the cluster that was Hunk. Almost using three self-defense items to get through that second-to-last area. I'm going to flame this guy. Mr. X is coming. We're going to shoot him once and leave. And he will keep that damage on him. He will keep that for when he reappears at the stairs. I believe he does anyway, so that it will be easier to down him when we get there. Because we want to down him to make it easier to get through the second to last area and the very last stretch. He will respawn when we get through the second to last area. But again, we want him to be down for the first one. And we're down to four rounds. We're going to shoot him again once he gets through this door. And that should take him down, I believe. And it's, it's not. It's not. He's getting shot again. He is definitely getting shot again. And he's down. Okay. 
it might have been enough to take him out. I am not entirely sure. I'm gonna throw a grenade. The G did not come to us for whatever reason. That should not have happened. I'm gonna throw another grenade that takes everybody out. And we still have two left. We still have two left. I keep forgetting that we have grenades for this because of how much we need to use the flame uh, grenades, the grenade launcher and the flamethrower. But by keeping four grenades for the end, we're able to get through without taking damage. Mr. X is chasing us, but he won't catch up with us in time. That is Cognac Tofu. No damage. Oh, that took a while. I wanted to meet the Grim Reaper. Fifteen minutes, twenty-three seconds. I was right about that taking a while. That took a lot longer than I thought. Whew. But we did it, no damage. I'd like to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you'll enjoy the next one as well. Goodbye.